intense showdown in Game 1. We expect nothing less here in Game 2. Both teams lined up in the middle. We are ready to get things underway. Don't you just love playoff hockey? Listen to this, please. Let's get after it. The goaltender decides to hang on to this one. Still plenty of time left in this frame. Still looking for our first goal. The Jets will start off on the attack after winning the draw. That opportunity is rejected. Krugs moving the puck through his own zone. Picking up momentum across the zone here on the right side. Moves it to Ehlers. Cuts into the paint. Just like that, it's a one nothing hockey game. Well, they started like a freight train just steamrolling their opponent, James. I, I mean, they really dictated right from the onset of this game. That tells me one thing. They were prepared coming in. What a play. Great hand-eye coordination to be able to time that and tap it down. Winnipeg's got to be pleased with the way they've started tonight. Look at this, already the first goal of the game, and just try to take that crowd out of it. Well, yeah, and that's exactly what they've done, and that would have been the message from the coach earlier today, James, because you want to make sure that you set the tone, you control the pace of play, and you find a way to get on the board first. The Jets scoop it up along the boards. Centering feed, and that's stopped. Picked up along the boards by Shen. And he handles a cross-ice pass. Winnipeg's gained possession. Pass to Velarde. Winnipeg's got the puck in the defensive end. Here's a shot from the wall. Denied that one. Along the half wall with the puck. Takes the knock, but he's still got the puck. Way off target. Puck scooped up by Falk. Takes the pass. Oh, had a chance to make a nice move, and the puck disagreed with him. Well, he's showing off his skill set, trying to make a silky move around the defender, but he gets denied. Winnipeg's crossed the line and on the attack. The Blues gain control of the puck against the wall. The Jets ready to go on the attack. Back to the point it goes. And that caroms off a body in traffic. Can't hang on to the puck after the play. Here they come, down the left side on the attack. Pumped away by Niederreiter. Back to the blue line. And that's deflected off someone in front. Nemestikov stick handling in his own zone. The Blues have the puck now. Takes the feed. Here's a short pass to Saad. Didn't mean to step on you like that, James, but looked at that hit and it just took me off guard. The Blues gain possession. St. Louis drop. Thunderous collision. Look at the end result. He's on his own bench. Yeah, and this is tough to handle, whether it's on your opponent's bench or yours. You know why, James? It's because you weren't able to stand your ground, and now you're over the boards. Nowhere for that shot to go through. And he slides it quickly to Lowry. To his teammate. Great reach by Gustafson. Stars! And they strike Peter once again. Yeah, they do. And their opponents down on their heels are deflated. They gotta find a way to continue with the pressure, be relentless, and try and get another one. We get to the shot off the most coveted area on the ice, right in front of the paint. Doesn't allow the goalie to get set up and puts it home. The Jets have done a great job moving their feet tonight, and they lead here midway through the first. And with the centers tied up, he swoops in to take possession. Oh, excellent use of the stick as he knocks that one away. Slides it over with pace to Barron. Moves the puck into the attacking area. Receives the pass. Oh, I thought he was going to be beaten, and he somehow got a piece of that. Quick feed to Lowry. And that goes up. Scores! They strike again, and that's three unanswered goals. Over and over and over again, James. And you can see the excitement on the bench. They know that they've deflated 
when they push their opponent back on their heels, they need to keep plugging away here and not get complacent. The Jets have been all over them, and there's still plenty of time left in this first. Winnipeg's won it. Moves it quickly over to Ehlers. St. Louis gains a hold of the puck against the boards. And now it's grabbed by Torpchenko. Here we go, pucks in deep. Slides the puck up from the left side. The Jets will play it in their own end. The Blues have a hold of it in the defensive zone. Gets the puck over to Blake. And that's knocked away in the defensive end by Morrissey. And they'll battle for that loose puck along the boards. Dishes it to Pionk. Backtracks with possession back inside the defensive zone. Passes on over to Shifley. Feeds it to Iafalo. Slides the puck over. Denies him! Quick pass to Morrissey. Oh, what a block! He'll get a pat on the back from the coach when he gets off, if he can get off. Oh, he just misses! What an opportunity there! Well, just is a big word, James, because when you have an opportunity like this on a primetime scoring area, you have to finish it off. He doesn't even hit the net. Shot! Way too much congestion blocks that. And it's kicked away. And he feeds it down to Krug. That'll create some separation. Good, solid check, and he loses control of it. Handles the puck. Aya follows, got it against the boards. Krug's got it in the defensive end. Moves it to the middle, and he denies that great opportunity there. Looking to set up offensively. Puts it on there, gets a piece of it to make the save. Moves it to Perfetti. Check on the reach. Here's a short pass to Kapanen. Handles the pass. Quick feed to Kairou. Makes the glove stop. By flashing the leather on this save, the shooter's in a great A scoring area, and man, he just rips out the glove and makes the save. Hella good stuff, great technique, and the athletic ability to backstop the team effectively. Thomas knows how to score, and his team will be relying on that offensive upside to get ahead. I'm excited to see these players compete and give their team the edge. Now back to you. Dishes it to Scandella. And now he moves it quickly to Neighbors. Takes a shot, and he gets just enough of it to keep it out for the back of the net. Winnipeg's coaches wanted to see more pucks on net going into this one, and I'd say through the better part of this first period, they have done just that. And he's ridden off the puck. Winnipeg's gained possession along the boards. Fires it on net, and gets a piece of it with the trapper. Let's it go! There's the buzzer, 20 minutes in the books, second period just around the corner. Both teams had a chance to recharge, and the officials set to drop the puck here on period number two. Here we go, lots of time left in this one, but certainly a lopsided affair to this point. All right, Pounder, how would you assess this game through the first 20 minutes played? The Blues continue to find themselves chasing the game here, James. I mean, you look at the possession numbers, they really haven't had the puck at all, so they're getting worn down right now. The Jets have it now. Lays the body. There's a chance in front! Oh, he comes up with a stop! Shen's the leader of this team, James. He knows exactly what to do. He has been in these situations before. He's got to put this team on his back with this offensive zone face-off and lead the charge. Winnipeg's looking to break out. 
The Jets take it along the wall. The Blues look to start the transition game. Shot! Great save on the one-timer! Morrissey's lugging the puck. Rocks him on the play. Answered the call there. Bennington's really struggled tonight, and the team in front of him as well. But oh, he had a beat, but it goes off the inside post. Velarde's got to be so frustrated, James. He's hit the bar a number of times tonight. Just when he thinks it's going to go in, here's the medal. There's a shot. Oh, to Bison with the paddle save. Well, he makes an incredible save on a point-blank shot here, James. I love the way he's aggressive. He's competitive, and he wins the battle. The Blues move the puck in the defensive zone. We got a whistle offside to call. Winnipeg's been all over them here in this second period. Just look at the score, and they have dominated in the shot clock, too. Puck grab by Dillon. Went for the dirty dangle, and it goes sideways. Mesnikov so difficult to stop in tight, and he's got magic hands, but unfortunately this time it doesn't go his way as he tries to get a little nifty. Sometimes simple is the best way to go. St. Louis gets the puck near the boards. Moves it quickly over to Letty. Into the offensive end now. The Jets grab possession to the puck. Quick pass to Nemestikov. Here's a shot! Oh, how did he get a glove on that? What a stop by Bennington! The Jets have been putting lots of shots on net and have been rewarded for their efforts. And they take possession. Whoa. Nice job tangling him up on the draw. Moves it to Falk. Oh, love the defensive stick work there to poke that one away. Scoops up the puck now. Along the wing, up the neutral zone. Sends it into the offensive zone. Appleton's on his way down to the ice, almost on one foot. Incredible display of awareness as he's able to get that pass off, which leads to a great scoring chance. Still lots of time left in the period. Winnipeg's on easy street right now. They lead it 3-0. Shifley's won the draw at center. Ehlers plays the puck. And he takes the dish. Winnipeg's got control of it now from their own end. Look out, here they come on the attack. Big time club saved by Bennington. His shot's come from the middle of the ice, and it has some heat on it, but he's ready and waiting for it. He's to position, and he makes the save. Winnipeg's lead here in the second period, a direct result of being the more aggressive team offensively. Shifley's got the puck, and they'll go on the attack. And he loses control of the puck. Sends the pass over. And loses possession after a solid hit. Still has possession. Scores! Kyle Connor doing what he does best. Well, this is a great goal. The goal scorer's goal, actually, James. A quick release shot. You're keeping your feet moving to be able to shoot it in stride. You got to know exactly where you are on the ice as well. So some key awareness to be able to get that goal. Winnipeg's been the dominant team tonight. And Look at the score here, but I think it starts to the back end there, Cheryl. Well, it really does. This has been a clinic in terms of a 200-foot game. you got to protect your goaltender and take care of your own zone if you want to get going north, and that's exactly what they've done, and they've generated a ton of chances creating their offense out of the rush. Quick snap! Denies him again! And they'll cover it up, forcing a stoppage in play. The Jets lead in a big way here in this second. They have been on fire offensively. And they win the offensive zone faceoff, and here we go. And the lane's clogged up, blocking that. From the open ice, they gain the line. And he takes the feed. From the left side, he moves it up ahead. The Blues get a hold of the puck along the boards. Rocked him along the wall. 
The Jets will play it from the defensive zone. Winnipeg's been dominant in all areas of the game tonight, James. Scores another one, and listen to these fans now, Cheryl. They don't like it one bit. Oh, they don't like it, James. It is ugly inside the building. You couldn't get anything going on the ice, and even harder when your own fans are booing. They used their speed on this counterattack and gave themselves an odd man advantage here, James. And what they did was they capitalized. They had multiple looks. They could pass it. They could shoot it. Goaltender couldn't figure it out. And it winds up in the back of the net. Winnipeg's ability to move the puck around tonight has been a treat to watch here, Cheryl. Yeah, and they've really forechecked. They found a way to get the puck on their stick. They've been relentless on it. When they get it, they've had the majority of the possession time. And then when they get it, they're finding something to do with it. Not just hanging out on the perimeter, but attacking the net. Well, Lardy's got the puck. Takes the feed in the middle of the ice. Takes it and looks ahead. Takes a shot. Gets a piece of it and will play on. The Blues gain possession along the wall. Here's a short pass to Thomas. Pass back to the point. Hammers it on net. Big save in front. He does a great job of having some positional play based on where the puck is on that low inner slot. And he makes himself big, takes away the holes, and makes the save. Strong use of the body. And they continue to fight for that puck along the wall. Moves it to Krug. Regroups with the puck back inside the D zone. Moves it on over to Perfetti. Through the middle of the ice, they enter the attacking zone. Oh, what a save on the play! Wow! Oh, that's Grand Larceny, James. I mean, he just stole one away from his opponent. What a save. Across the line. opted to hang on to the puck for a face-off. The Jets are on cruise control here late in the second. Simply look at the scoreboard, the shot count. It is all one-sided. Perfetti's won the draw deep in the defensive zone. Oh, the sauce on that pass. Tries to feed it over to Domestikov. And he takes the feed. Oh! Big time hit there. And I like it, James. I mean, you're getting blown out here. It's about time someone steps up and does something to turn the tide. It all it's out. Center and feed. And he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Puts a little mustard on the hit to knock the puck loose. Connors taking it from his own end. Winnipeg's got it along the wall. Now a quick pass to Shifley. Well, throw technique out the window. This time it's all about the competitive will to get to that puck. And these fans are still buzzing about what we just saw. What a save that was, Cheryl. Yeah, he made an incredible save and really engaged this fan base. They're on their feet. You know they're right into the game. And listen, when they are showing you that kind of appreciation, you also want to play for them. Winnipeg's got a hold of the puck now. He's got a step. period and with that two periods now in the books been a great night of hockey here on ea sports and we got the third period coming at you in moments two down one to go third period they're ready to drop the puck It's been a total mismatch here as we get underway for the third. Let's see if anything changes. Well, with two periods played, Pounder, your thoughts? Oh, St. Louis is getting bullied here, James, and you know the coach is telling listen, just stick with the game plan. Everything is going well in the offensive zone. You have a majority of the puck possession there. You're finding ways to get the puck through to the net. Just take away the eyes, look to drive the paint, get to the interior, and make it happen. Sends the pass down low. Feed to Pareko. Now he takes it over the line. Taken by Krug. Here's a pass in front. And that's stopped. And he takes the pass. Into the offensive end right up the middle. Oh, and somehow he gets a sliver of it and keeps it at bay. Jostled off the puck. Angles it over to Bushnevich. They've got numbers here. Shot! And the goaltender comes up with a piece 
of it to keep it out of the net. Pokes it away in his own end. With the puck under siege, can he get out of the zone here? Looking to make something happen along the boards. Oh, he got all of that. What a save by Hillebuck. He got all of that hit. Oh, and it's another save on the play. As a goaltender, you want to make yourself as big as possible, and that's exactly what he does right there and just takes away the net. Letty's going to play it against the half wall. DeMello's got the puck in his own zone. Tries to get it over to Ayafalo. Slides it across to Niederreiter. Moves it quickly over to Kapanen. Feeds it down low. Unable to reach that one. And now he passes it to Perfetti. Carries the puck through the neutral zone. St. Louis gains a hold of possession. With possession along the wall. Big play inside the defensive zone. Scooped up along the wall by Letty. And makes the save. Winnipeg's got a hold of it against the wall. They're picking up steam through the neutral zone. Fearless, totally fearless on the block. Into the attacking area from the left side. Too much congestion blocks the shot. Winnipeg's got it in their own zone. And they'll dump it in. And down he goes as the puck goes free. From behind his own net. Now he slides it up to Torpchenko. Picks up the feed. Works it across to Chisholm. Looking to set up offensively. Quick pass to Nemestikov. Great reflex on display tonight on his part. The Jets gain control of it. Taken here by Nemestikov. And a strong effort on that play. Great poke by Lowry. Drips it and it. And that goes off someone in front and doesn't reach the net. The Jets scoop it up along the boards. Oh, he couldn't put it past. What a stop by Hooper. What an incredible glove saved by the goaltender. I mean, he gets out to the top of his crease. He's challenging. He's saying, hey, try and beat me on this side. Winnipeg's got a hold of the puck. Go, go, go. Break away. While we have a chance, let's go to Carlin Bay standing by ringside. Hellebuck's pitching a shutout because he's been so focused, guys. His compete level has given this team a chance to win this game, and he's definitely got the edge here. Taken along the wall by Buchnevich. Winnipeg's ready to go on the attack. Working the puck deep inside their own end. 
through the neutral zone and along the boards. Here they come. Puck picked up by Pareko. Quick pass across to Thomas. Winnipeg's up big time here in the late stages of this third period. And they take possession off the draw here in their own end. Here they come through center and into the offensive end. Steps in front of that one. St. Louis with possession in their own zone. Takes it at center. Broken up by Dillon. And he's pulled over to the ice and loses the puck. Here in the corner, he grabs the puck. Hellebuck's a competitor, and he is not afraid to compete for every single puck and outwill and outbattle his opponent. And that highlight reel save, it is something, James, because just when you think it's almost in, he finds a way to get to that puck. Such an athletic goaltender. Winnipeg's coaches have to be impressed from what they're seeing from their players tonight. All sorts of scoring chances, and they lead late in the third. Grabbed along the board by DeMello. Dished on over to Iafalo. The Blues get a hold of the puck. Change up! Shen's got it along the wing. Quick feed down low. Oh, he got huddled by Hellebuck. Officials ready to drop the puck and get things back underway. The Blues take possession here inside the offensive zone. The Jets have it now. There's another hit on the play. He's going to feel terrible tomorrow, James. Over and over again, he's been throttled. Takes the puck behind the net. Back at the point, they set it up. Hammers went from the point. Big save just as time runs out. And this one is all over as the final horn sounds. Cheryl, the power of a locked-in Tendi tonight. The goaltender was outstanding in this one. Pitching a shutout, James. It is critically important that you get the saves when you need them. But how about the structure defensively? They really tightened up and didn't give much up. From all of us here at EA Sports, I'm James Samoski. Thanks so much for joining us here this evening. The playoffs roll on, and we will see you then next time.